2 Timothy chapter 4 By the grace of my Father, with the blessings of my brother, I am here with the Holy Ghost to bring you the King James Version, 2 Timothy chapter 4, where Paul says, Now you know everything. Go out into the world to make a difference. Verse 1. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. To preach the word. Be instant in season. Out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I jump back here again. Be instant in season, out of season. Be ready to speak the word of God at the drop of a hat, regardless of whether you're in the right place or not. If somebody says, Oh, but this is the day that we. I don't care, you're teaching the word of God. That takes precedence over everything. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Itching ears. You want to hear what you want to hear that relieves you of that ramrod straight. Got to do it the right way. Godly purpose. Four. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned into fables. You've heard them all your life. If you really believe that, that's a fairy tale. Five. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. If you're going to do something, get out there and do something. Six. For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. Offer it up to Pontius Pilate. Offer it up in Rome. Christ met Pilate. He has to meet. Person, well, I'll let him tell a story. Seven, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Remember those three days in Damascus? He knew everything was going to happen in his life from that point on, just pretty much like Christ did. And he still went through it. He kept his faith. Eight, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Christ said, if you love me, you'll do my commands. Nine, do thy diligence and come surely to me. Ten, for Demas hath forsaken me. Having loved this present world and has departed unto Thessalonica. Corrections to Galatia, Titus, to Dalmatia. 11. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for my ministry. 
12. And Tychias have I sent to Ephesus. 13. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. 14. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord rewarded him according to his works. 15. Of whom be thou ware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. That's the guy that got him shipped off to Rome. But he's warning the other ones, watch out. He's turning people in, trying to get them killed. 16. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. 17. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me and the preaching might be fully known. And that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And that, I am sure, is an indicator of understanding some of the stories from the past. 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. And will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Nineteen salute Prisca, Aquila, and the household of one Cyprus. 20. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at, my, at Miletum sick. 21. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Ebulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. 22. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thee. Thy spirit, grace with you. Amen. Paul has shared his entire story with us. Right down to what it's like to operate a church. And, and the things that you always have to keep in mind. Uh, keep in mind that, that he was faithful throughout his life uh, from that day in Damascus. And as much trouble as you're going to run into being a Christian, don't lose the faith. If you have hardships, if you've got problems, if you've got... Well, first off, Bounce on over to Paradise Earth uh, and understand the parameters that we live within. There's a difference between what you ask for and what was provided, you know, naturally. I'll help you straighten that out. I'm walking.